Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Now we'll look at inserting word art. When you click the insert word art button on the drawing toolbar, the word art gallery dialog box will appear with a colorful listing of word art formats for you to select from. Click on the style that you like. Then click OK at the bottom of the WordArt dialog box. Next, you'll see a small text box appear into which you will enter the text that you would like your WordArt to display. You may click and drag over the text and use the font drop-down to change it to a different font if you would like. You may also change the size, bold it, or italicize it by clicking the B and the I button. Now, whenever the text looks the way that you would like, click OK. The word art will automatically insert itself into your document. Click on it to select it. Note that it does insert itself in line with text, so just like with our clips, the first thing we're going to want to do is change the text wrapping. Then you may click and drag the word art to move it around wherever you would like on your document. Note that you can also resize it using the resizing handles, just like you would with your clip art. And we also have another object, which is the small yellow diamond. Yellow diamonds in clip art or auto shapes indicate lines that can be bent. In this case, it's the line that determines the slant of the text. So if I click on this and drag it to the right or to the left, I can slant my text in either direction. Now once you've set your form or your word art where you would like to display it, you can modify its properties using the format word art command from the format command in the menu bar. And here you can do things like change the fill. Or change the line color or the line style or the weight. you have quite a few different options. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.